Hey guys, it's Will from Beretta Gaming. Um, I haven't done a video in quite a while, a couple weeks, so um, I figured I'd do a video today showing you how I um, actually record my um, Nintendo 3DS uh, gameplay. Um, like in my Kid Acres video and also my Zelda um, parts that I already have and hopefully some more to come. So basically what I use is just the camera of the fourth generation iPod Touch. Um, I just use this, I mean, it's 720p, um, so it's pretty good. I mean, it's not the best. I do have a digital camera um, with a tripod, so that I guess that would be easier to, to film with, but the camera only films in, like, 360p, so I figured 720p would be much better. And then basically, to hold the iPod up, oh, sorry, and then I have my 3DS, um, and I have it on the uh, charging uh, cradle, so it's just a little bit elevated up. That makes it easier to um, actually play the games, so you're not like... Yeah, come on, let's try to get that. there we go. Just so you're not uh, completely on the ground, it's a little bit easier to, you know, get to the... Um, get to the controls and use them and stuff. So then I'll basically show you what I used to hold up my iPod Touch is basically this little contraption that I built out of connects that I've had ever since I was five or six years old. Um, so basically I just got an idea one day to take a bunch of these things out of the attic and uh, build this little mount for my iPod. So I'll show you how this works. Um, give you an idea of what it looks like in case you guys want to make the same thing. Okay, so basically what I do is I just set it here, then the iPod can just set it like that, and then my 3DS I usually just slide in like this, and the camera, let me show you here. And then all you have to do is line up your 3DS screen with the camera. And there you go. And then you can, of course, you know, move move the 3DS back and also adjusting the screen um, helps like that so you can get your right uh, angle. Let's just see if I can pull it back, angle a little bit more. So that's usually how I have it, just, just like this with my iPod, and then I got these two little pieces here just in case it falls back so it doesn't completely fall off. So it's easier to set the camera back up. And then I have it leaning just on these little two blue rods. And that, uh, since the 3DS is on the cradle, it's elevated a little bit more. And then with the screen up like this, like a laptop, um, it makes it a lot easier to film. Um, playing the games like this is... Let me move this out of the way. It's kind of hard because um, you gotta, you know, use the controls and then you gotta, you know, push the buttons like this. Uh, using the shoulder buttons is pretty hard. Um, it's pretty easy. Well, actually, I don't know. It's 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 quite hard for most games, but by far, Kid Icarus is impossible um, to film with because you you have to use the stylus and that's really hard. You're always like interfering with the camera and then since you have to use this to move in the you know the left shoulder button to the fire I constantly like push the 3ds and it starts like inching its way and then it screws the whole thing up I have to reset it every once in a while so Kid Icarus is one of the um, the games that this really doesn't um, work that well with but all the other ones it works um, very well uh, so guys I hope that helps um, just wanted to show you a way that I film my uh, 3DS gameplay. I'm not sure how much of other people do it. Um, I know a lot of people do it with, you know, fancy 1080p cameras and tripods and all these other um, setups. But this is just a quick, easy, and cheap way to do it if you have uh, just a 4th gen iPod Touch and um, some connects laying around. So, guys, uh, stay tuned for more videos.